everyone, Amanda here from Creative Scrimping Mummy. Thank you for joining me. If you are new, please do hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Um, so uh, today I'm doing another video on my big book of ephemera ideas. It's kind of like an ongoing thing. I carry on doing the videos until I feel like I've done enough in the book. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with the book. Whether I'm going to keep it, whether I'm going to sell it, I don't know. <laughs> there is a playlist linked in the description box below that shows you all of the things I've done. And we've done quite a lot of fabulous ideas um, such as this. Really, really cool. So I just got some bits and bobs out and I just thought I'd have a play and see what we can come up with really easy and really quickly um, with just a few tags and a few bits and bobs. Anything that I've used, I'll have a look at the video when I've finished and I'll link them in the description box below because I do tend to use my own digitals, but you can use whatever you want. Okay, have a look what you've got. Right, so I've got a bit of an idea, but not fuller. So let's start with this girl here. So I'm just grabbing a, one of the large tags um, from my 100 tags bundle. <laughs> right, so I won't mention where everything comes from because it gets boring. Then I've got these little envelopes that somebody sent me. I'm going to put a little mini Polaroid in there. Okay. And then... Um, <laughs> I don't really know. So let's just see what we can do. I think I'm going to glue that there. So the idea of these is I'm making large tag clusters, cluster pockets, large tag cluster. What should we call them? I don't know, but they're going to be basically large clusters made on a tag, and then we will turn them into pocket tuck spots. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to call them yet. So I'm gluing that envelope there and I've got the open side facing out so that I can access it. And I'm just going to stick that on my tag. Okay. So immediately I've got my favourite word, which is interest. Okay. Let me just make sure that that's going to fit on a page. Let me find a page. Uh, I'd rather find one that's a bit more blank. There we go. We'll use this page. Okay, so that's going to fit on my page and I can access that little do for there. Okay, right, so let's leave that page open because that's where we'll put it afterwards. And let's go back to here. So then I just get some of my bits and pieces. I've got these film strips, which are really interesting, I quite like. Okay, and again, I'm just going to keep checking that it's going to fit within the parameter of my book if I stick that on there. So let me just check. Okay. Yes, it is. Now, I really like that. I think I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm having it. So let's just glue that on. And I'm going to glue it while it's just resting on my... Just wipe some of that off. I don't want it to actually stick to my page yet. I'm just going to do it while it's on my page so that I know I'm within the parameters of my page, if you get my meaning. Okay, so I know now that anything that's within the parameter of that film strip will fit in my book. Brilliant. We're, we're, we're off to a good start. Now, I've printed these on lightweight cardstock. That way, it gives you more sturdiness because we are going to use it as a pocket. A pocket or a tock. A pocket or a tuck. Right, so now this is where you just start and you lay your things on and see what you think and see how you like them. I do like some red in my vintage things uh, I've got these that I made previously I don't know if that might be a bit big that might not go about this smaller one here doesn't want to protrude I want to be able to see my film strip though so I'd lift it up and maybe lift her up a little bit if I want to use that I'm not sure yet I've got these strips of red here. I might like I've liked a strip a strip of red there. Let's have a look. Quite like a strip of red behind that girl. So I just lay things and I'm kind of like I'm trialing them to see if I like them. I do actually like that. Just trialing them to see if I like them. And then I go from there. I'm going to save that for my next one, I think. And I think I'd quite like some more red over here. Just 
just peek in there so you can still see all of those layers and i think that looks great so if i can just remember where everything goes i just need to ink this okay super simple we don't do difficult crafting on this channel we just get our stuff out and whatever happens happens <laughs> kind of thing right so let me just remind myself of my placement okay i'm having that there because i want to see the film strip quite like her there and quite shall i have that there or shall I have it there? Like that. Mm, don't know if that looks balanced. Let's have a think. Let me just have a think. Files there. Or oh, here. Sometimes you can end up overthinking things, so it's best to just stick them on. I'm just going to go with that. Okay. I just feel like I need a little something there. See if I can grab something quickly from the side of me. See if I've got some music paper or something. Probably haven't got any close to hand now. Um, now that I've decided I want it. What's this? A bit of randomness. Might have some of this random leftover. Bit of something that I've done some embossing paste on there. Now to me that looks better because you've you've not just got this like floating red bit. Yeah. Okay, I like that. So now we're just gonna get sticking. All right. So this was just a scrap of book page that I did some embossing paste on. One thing I will advise you if you're using quite old book pages that are discoloured, before you use embossing paste. I mean, it works in this instance because it's a, a vintage look. But it can make your embossing paste go yellow because it's drawing the whatever's in the book page out. So what you can do is you can go over your book page with some clear gesso before you do anything to it. That way it won't draw that whatever it is out of that paper and, and turn whatever you've got on it yellow. I hope you're following my ramblings. Yeah? So do I want that that way? No, I quite like that straight edge there. Yeah, so now I've got two layers there. Put my girl about there, I think. Let's see where that's going because I want to be able to see that film strip. Right. So let me just put that ticket there so I can remind myself where I want the girl up to. <laughs> I'll forget. I'll end up doing it again. So just get your things out and have a play. You know, collage, everybody's doing glue books, collage, masterboards, it's all the same principle, okay? You can do the same thing to make yourself some embellishments or pockets or tucks. It's the same thing. Um, it's all the same process. It's just about layers, adding layers and trial them. Um, you know, give them an interview, see if they're good enough, see if you like them and if not, change it. Yeah, so that's going to go, just overlap it slightly there, have that on. And it, so like these clusters, I pre-made, I did a batch make, so it's just music paper, little, little bit of, I don't know what this is, tissue paper, I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's the paper with holes punched in it. And then a bit of fabric, a bit of pattern paper, butterfly sewed through it. And I made about 20 all at once. So then they're interesting to, to lay on things like this. And then when you come to do them, you've got them to hand. And you can just get them out and add them on willy-nilly. Yeah? Add them on willy-nilly. Okay. And now I can just tuck that bit of red under there just to give a bit more peak of a red you can still see the film strip you can still see everything oh i've not put that there stick that under her Is she down no i've got room and i can stick her stick that there just to tie in that red let me just bring it down so it's going underneath there 
that's a nice layer okay so that's that one done i've stuck it to my page that's not what we wanted i didn't want to stick it to there <laughs> maybe have a silicon mat or something underneath instead of i use this uh, scratch paper it's like in a big roll um like you know you get for children to draw on right let me find that page i wanted i've lost it now haven't i of course i have so, uh, here we go so that page is just a little bit stark isn't it so i'm just going to add a little bit of ink and these are my favourite kind. I love doing my, you know, my my other journals with my pretty digitals. But this kind of like junky where you're just sticking things willy-nilly is awesome fun. And if you make one of these kind of journals, I've shown you how to even make the journal. You know, you can pick it up and put it down. I don't work on this every day. I work on it when I've got time. Um, so here I could just glue it at the bottom. Okay, so it's a large pocket like that. All right, let me just get that glue off there because that's bugging me. Don't want that on there. Or you could stick it on two sides, okay, so that you've got a more substantial. I just quite like it as a big tuck. And I'd probably put a vintage letter in or an old invoice or, you know, extra journaling. Because you've taken up the journaling or writing space from there by adding this, then add some journaling or writing space back. So I can add that there now. Okay. And I can get in that little pocket and I can get that little that little card. In fact, I'll just have it peeking like that. Get that little card out. Okay, let's have a look what else have I got that should make them look a little bit interesting. What's these? My little paper clips, which I got from Temu, and they're as stiff as I don't know what, so they're hard to a little paper clip on. And there you go, you can access that little card there. You could put a little tab on it if you wanted. I might even put another little paper clip here. Because they were only cheap and not as expensive as the Tim Holtz ones. I can use them willy-nilly. I could put another one there. I could even put a little ticket on there if I wanted, but I don't want to. So that's that one done. So let's do another one. They don't take long to make. So let's um, do some more. So I've got this lilac -y one. I've got this gentleman here. I've got another film strip. I've got this this card here. Uh, what else have I got? I've even got these smaller tags, which I could layer underneath, like that if I wanted. I quite like that. Quite like that. And then I've got another one of these. Got to, might as well use this, seeing as it's here. A little bit of this embossed paper. All right, we'll stick that over here. I'm going to use this cluster here. Get it used up. Move that there. That there. Let's have a look what we've got here. Quite like the blue. No, it's too much. Don't want to get off. Some of this red. I like this red one. Let's have a look. I have some red just there. Yeah, we're going to have that there. Let me just rip it. We're going to have that there. A bit of red. Just using up leftovers. And I quite like a bit of red behind that gentleman as well. And a bit of red, just peeking out of there, just to break that up. Yeah, I might even lift that film strip up so that it's peeking out the top, like that. Right, okay, so let's get gluing. All right, <laughs> if I can remember where everything goes. So let's just take these layers off. I'll glue this one on first. Okay, that about there. Uh, have a bit of ink on this. I've already inked my other stuff. And these people are from, I don't know which, one of my collections. I do have some of the Tim Holtz ones, 
but um, I find them, you know, because they're on like chipboard, they're, they're, they're a bit bulky, a bit bulky for me. So I like these, um, although I do like the Tim Holtz ones as well. Okay, so now I want to glue my tag to the back of there. Could have just ripped it, but it's it's giving more sturdiness, isn't it? Stick that to the back of there. Okay, I'm not worried if any of the writing's not the right way around or anything like that. And then what did I have? This one. And I just had it peeking off the top, did I? Yeah. Well, let's do this. I'll probably stick it to my table again, but never mind. All right, then I've got my gentleman. Do I want a little label? I'll have that little label, why not? It's a good way of using up, you know, if you've been fussy cutting and you've got, I need to organize mine better. Mine aren't organised very well. We've got a bits of stuff left over. You know, throw them on your desk and throw some things together. Do some collage tags. All right. Now he's got quite a skinny walking cane here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put myself a blob of glue on there. And then I'm just going to spread it with my hands. And then we will put him there. Let me just see where this is going, see if he needs lifting up. I'll just lift him up ever so slightly. Okay, and then I wanted this red, didn't I? Let me see where I want this. Did I want that to go under the film strip? Yeah, I want that to go under the film strip, so I'll get that glued on quickly before that dries. Under there like that so this is a bit more masculine because it's a camera that was my idea i do tend to use a lot of ladies and do a lot of feminine stuff in my journals but when it comes to like really vintage i do like to add the gentleman right a bit of red don't get any easier than this folks don't get any easier than this. It really doesn't. This is easy crafting. Okay. But I do advise, make some long clusters like this. What does it measure? Let me tell you what it measures. It measures about four and a half inches. Because if it's too long, you can rip some off. You can cut it to size. And they're just really useful. You know, if you, if you can't think, if you're having one of those days, I have them can't think what to make i don't know what i'm going to make today can't think of anything sit and make some something's not straight is it my tag is it my tag that's not straight or is it that there we go that's better all right okay I'll get rid of that glue get rid of the glue the good thing with the colal is if you if you catch it while it's wet and you rub it like that then it turns into like, you know, like when you've rubbed out using a rubber or an eraser and you can just brush it away. Okay. And let's find another page for here. Okay. So we've got that fantastic one there. Can I add loads of goodies in there? Okay. And this one I might hang a charm off. So let's go to the back of the book so that we're not putting everything at the front. Uh, where should we put him? We'll put him here. That's a nice page. That's a nice page, isn't it? I'll just ink the edges of it. I don't ink every page because I don't think every page needs it. Okay, so now we're going to... Now, because this one's not as wide as the other one, I'm going to glue it down the side and along the bottom. Okay, so down the side here. And then I'll do it along the bottom there and then that will slide in like so and how cool does he look there how cool is he and then there because these bits are sticking out it's going to hold quite you know large things 
So large pieces of ephemera, you know, writing pages, whatever. Whatever you want. Put what you want on, and I might put a little dangle on there. We'll see. We'll see. So there you go. That's that one. There. Okay. Lovely, lovely, lovely. It looks like a collage, but it's actually a massive, massive tuck or pocket. Same here. Lovely cluster of interesting things. Massive pocket. Massive. Okay. And how fun is that? And then you've also got this that you can pull out. All right. So let me just slide that back in. All right, so there we go. That's another two pages in our big book of ephemera ideas. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Quick and easy. Check out the playlist in the description box below for all the other ideas. We're getting rather chunky now. Uh, we've done some lovely, lovely, lovely ideas, including how to make the cover, which I've made out of craft text. So it's lovely and sturdy and it's flexible. So if my book becomes chunky, then this spine will just go rounded. I've got my elastic binding so that if I want to add anything or remove anything, I can. Don't get any better. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.